Hello everyone, so um, this is one of the videos relating to the Wingmakers materials which I've recently had a renewed interest in. Uh, and you can find the current website at wingmakers.com and there's some free stuff to download there and you can have a look there. It's you know, There's a lot of material there, I'm not going to go through everything, I'm not even going to try and give you, exactly give you an overview because what's kind of um, I wanted to go through was a glossary which was published in well over 20 years ago now and I'm going to be using a link to a page from the Wayback Machine which was from the one of the earlier versions of the Wingmakers website uh, which you can see here and this link I included in the last video description and will include in this one as well um, so I wanted to read through some of this because I think it's a really good summary of a lot of things which have been of interest to me in terms of really consciousness um, and those sorts of areas and this has got some really good stuff in as, as far as I can tell now uh, on the current website that's all been repackaged and moved around and stuff so I don't think it's as, as kind of succinct and concise as it was for example you can download this uh, free PDF which I think is 89 pages long all about uh, the sovereign integral which I'll mention in this read through uh, and a new model of existence but I think what I'm going to read you over the next uh, four or five videos which planned to be five is uh, includes more than this but there's some really good stuff in here as well you can download this document for free if you want this was I think put together fairly recently whereas the stuff I'm going to mention is over 20 years old and you'll see parts of you know it are quite significant I think um, as, as you'll see as I go through this so without further ado then I'm going to now try and start the read through. So you'll notice if you actually go to this page you'll get a different view because I'm using the Chrome browser reading view which gives you a nice readable text. Um, so I will begin. The glossary is derived from the optical disc found in chapter 23 of the Wingmakers time capsule. It represents the definitions of keywords and phrases that are used in the first two philosophical papers written by the wingmakers. As subsequent papers are made available on this website, the glossary will expand accordingly. This is not a glossary of terms used in the writings of, Doc, of Anne or Dr. Anderson. Those definitions can be found in the interview transcripts of this website. So you can go back and look at those. So the story behind this is that somebody found this optical disc in a chamber um, which was alleged to be from this alien race and over a period of time it was decoded and there's a discussion of that in the Wingmakers materials on the early website. I think a lot of that discussion has now um, disappeared. So the reading from the glossary then from these terms that the Wingmakers use um, the human instrument consists of three principal components the biological and brackets physical body the emotional and the mental these three distinct tools of perception in aggregate represent the vehicle of the individuated spirit as it interacts with the physical dimension of space time energy and matter entity the entity model of consciousness encompasses the individuated spirit, sometimes referred to as the higher self or soul. The entity is, in a sense, a fragment of the universal spirit consciousness of prime creator. It is composed of a very refined and pure energy vibration that is equal to source intelligence, open bracket, spirit, close bracket. It is the entity consciousness that divests itself into human or otherwise physical vehicles in order to collect experiences that evolve and transform its understanding and appreciation of existence. It is the hub of the wheel through which all of its outposts of form and expression converge through the continuum of time and space. The entity is sovereign and similarly, simultaneously interconnected with all life through the universal spirit consciousness, bracket source intelligence. It is the animating force energy within all life forms that is always in search of higher understanding and expression. So I think that's a very concise summary uh, of what we might consider ourselves to be, be and people who are looking at all this sort of stuff that I've been looking at and watching videos like this one would kind of 
um, particularly identify, I think, with this idea of um, in search of higher understanding and expression. Well, that's certainly the case for me. I don't know about for you. Sovereign integral. The sovereign integral is a state of consciousness whereby the entity and all of its various forms of expression and perception are integrated as a whole a consciousness sorry as a conscious whole this state this is a state of consciousness that all entities are evolving towards and at some point each will reach a state of transformation that allows the entity and its instruments of experience i.e. the human instrument, to become an integrated expression that is aligned and in harmony with source intelligence. Now, you know, the source intelligence idea is, you know, similar to God or uh, a divine being, and that, 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 that's what this identifies with. So, prime creator is the primal source from which all existence is ultimately linked. It is sometimes referred to as the body of the collective God. It represents the overarching consciousness of all things unified. It, this includes pain, joy, suffering, light, love, darkness, fear. All expressions and all conditions are integrated and purposeful in the context of Prime Creator. It encompasses all things and unifies them all in an all-inclusive consciousness that evolves and grows in a similar manner to how each individuated spirit evolves and grows. In most cultures, the term God or Goddess is used to define this omnipotent power. It often represents an entity that has evolved beyond the range of human comprehension and who manifests magical powers like manipulating the natural elements through thought or manifesting as non-corporeal light beings. These manifestations are described and depicted in virtually all cultures of the human race through its religious texts and mythology. While these may be entities that are highly evolved in their abilities and knowledge, they should not be confused with Prime Creator. Prime Creator is not a manifestation, but rather a consciousness that inhabits all time, space, energy, matter, form, intent, as well as non-time, non-space, non-matter, non-energy, non-form and non-intent. It is the only consciousness that unifies all states of being into one being and this being is prime creator it is a growing expanding and inexplicable inexplicable consciousness that organizes the collective experience of all states of being into a coherent plan of creation expansion and colonization into the realms of creation and the inclusion of creation into source reality the home of prime creator This being pervades the sum of the universe, the sum of experience in time and non-time. It has encoded itself within all life as a vibration of frequency. This frequency is not perceptible to the three-dimensional, five-sensory context of the human instrument, which can only detect a faint echo of this vibration. Prime Creator is, in pre is present in all and all are able to contact Prime Creator through this tone, vibration of equality. Prayers of supplication do not stir Prime Creator to response. Only the core expression of the individual's tone, vibration of equality will be successful in contacting Prime Creator in a meaningful way. Prime Creator has many lower faces. These faces are often thought to be God itself, but gods are only a dimensional aspect of Prime Creator and there are many faces of God as well. The hierarchy has made this manifest, not Prime Creator. Prime Creator is not beholden to any law, nor does it operate in conjunction with any other force or power. It is truly sovereign and ubiquitous simultaneously, and thus unique. It is not hidden or wary of life in any way. It simply is unique and therefore incomprehensible except through the vibration encoded within all life. The other faces of God have been created so the human instrument can fathom prime creator and crystallize an image of this unique being sufficient to progress through the hierarchy and access the sovereign integral perspective. Nevertheless, 
Nevertheless, what you hold as God is not prime creator, but a facet of prime creator developed by the hierarchy as a comprehensible interpretation of prime creator. We must tell you that these interpretations have been exceedingly inadequate in their portrayal. Because prime creator is unique unto all creation, it is indescribable, unfathomable and incomprehensible other than through the tone vibration of equality stored in the entity level of the human instrument and accessible through the core expression of the entity. Until there is a sufficient number of individuals who operate from the sovereign integral consciousness, the genetic mind will make access to this vibration difficult to achieve. Now, as we go through the rest of this, we'll pick up some of the other definitions. We mentioned there the hierarchy that will be covered and the genetic mind, which is really interesting. This prime creator thing, you know, that's quite a lot of text there. And, you know, it's talking about God and, and, and things like that. Um, but there's a lot of other interesting stuff in this glossary. And part of it is actually um, prophetic. As you will see, I've, I, I did read this out in another video a while ago, but it's the, the, there are a couple of this, which, uh, this bits which are really quite profound. They're very concise and seem to have been written by someone who has a deep understanding of how our overall human um, systems of you know religion and so forth operate. So that's what impressed me about this. So I'm going to break the first video there now, and uh, we'll then in the next video, pick up with the genetic mind.